everyone, welcome back to Stella Rose Bella where I talk about the latest Asian drama, music, and shows. Today, I want to talk about the cast of The Legend of Fae and I will highlight what they've done um, because it's a lot of people and I'm focusing on Afe's like friend group. Um, characters you've probably seen already but characters that haven't come out yet. So let's get into it. First up is Dolly Ying. She was born on October 16th, 1987 and in 2006 she was the winner of Yahoo's Search Star Game and in 2007 she made her debut in Golden Marriage. And in 2011 was when she sort of I guess people will start to notice her, um, is where she played the role of Ting Er in the new version of My Fair Princess. In 2013, um, for The Legend of Lu Zhen, it really brought her <laughs> popularity not only in China but also in Japan and South Korea. In 2014, she was in The Boss and Me, and in 2015, she was in The Journey of Flowers. In 2017, she was in The Mystic Nine. In that year, uh, Princess of Agents, which all those dramas did really well, the ones that I listed, <laughs> and that those did really well, and Princess Agents was one of the most, like, viewed watch drama that was held by an actor at that time. And in 2018, she was in The Story of Ming Lan, and that also did really well as well. And that's Sally Ying. So next up, we have Wang Yibo. Wang Yibo, I feel like Sally Ying and Wang Yibo, y'all know pretty much about them. Um, but I'll just do a quick one. Wang Yibo was born on August 5th, 1997. So in 2011, he participated in the IDB competition show and he came out as top 11 in the hip hop category. And then he went to be a trainee at Yuehua and then he went to South Korea to be trained as well. In 2014, he debuted in a South Korean and Chinese boy band group called Unic. And his position in the group was the rapper, lead dancer, and he was the youngest of the group. Their debut song is Falling In Love. And then later he made his acting debut in MBA Partners. So in 2018, he was the dance mentor in Produce 101. And in that show, he did share a personal story about him. Um, he shared that when he was young, when he was younger, he suffered from myo Cardidus, I'll put the name of it. And um, at that time, he had to give up dancing. It was like really hard for him. He really, really, really loves dancing. I, I don't have to say that. I feel like if y'all watch like Dance Street of China season three and Produce 101, you see how much he's like really like his passion for dancing. Y'all see that. And um, yeah, he had to give up dancing for a while and then he had to like take medication and everything. The recovery process was long, but um he was cured and then he had to like relearn dancing from like the beginning and he said that he spent so many hours every day to dance because he was like i love it and he's like i don't feel like it was like work or anything he's like i just love it and felt really really happy um so yeah and then he just like and then he's like yep that's it and then everyone's just like wow okay yeah I, I remember seeing that part of the show and i was like i never heard him talk about that and um, yeah, and then in 2019, uh, Gank In Your Heart came out, and also The Untamed came out as well, and y'all know what happened after that. <laughs> I don't think I need to say anymore. Who is Wang Yibo? Um, yeah, I feel like Dali Ying and Wang Yibo, I don't really have to say much about them because they've been in the industry for a while. The next person is Chen Ruoxuan, who plays the Biao Ge in Afei, in Youfei. <laughs> Not Afe. In Yo Fei. He was born on October 16th, 1994. He made his acting debut in 2015 in The Adventure of God 2. I'm pronouncing the words wrong, but that's where he made his debut. And then in 2016, he was in The Legend of Nine Tailed Fox. Um, it's a combination of six different stories, and he in one of the stories he plays the lead. In 2016, he played the supporting role in Novaland, The Sky and the Castle. In 2017, he played a different like different type of role genre, such as The Endless Love, Beyond Light Years. In 2019, he was in Novaland Eagle 
flat. That's him. He's to me, he's really new. I don't know much about him. So the next person is Zhang Huiwen. Um, she plays the role of uh, Wu Chu Chu in Yo Fei, and she was born on September 13th, 1993. And she studied at the Beijing Dance Academy in the dance department. And she was discovered by Zhang Yimou, and I guess he casted her. I'm not sure if he casted her, but basically. Um, I believe so based on what I've read. She was casted in the lead role of Coming Home and for that role she won awards. In 2015 she went on to play a role in Forever Young. In 2017 she made a small great screen debut in the Nirvana in the Fire 2. In 2019 she wanted to play a role in The Great Detective. In 2020 she was in Love of a Lifetime. So yeah she's pretty new. A lot of the actors here are pretty new. Um, I don't really find much about them. Some people I just found one thing about them. For example, the next person that I'm going to talk about. So the next person is really really new. I couldn't really find much about him. His name is Zhang Xingyu. Um, I couldn't even find when he was born, so I don't know. In 2019, he made his acting debut in The Brotherhood of Blades. Yes, <laughs> that's what I know about him. He also acted in a drama called Renaissance, which aired this year. His role was Tian Mian. I'm just gonna say in Cantonese. <laughs> he made his musical debut in Taiwa Sayo Gei Dai Sing Chou Chen. Um, he played the role of the Monkey King in that musical. Hello. <laughs> yes, different clothing. Welcome to the future. So the next actor that I want to talk about in the cast is Leng Jiyuan who plays um, the Dui and he was born on March 12, 1992 and he actually started in plays. In 2014 he was in a play called Chongqian Ne In 2016 he made his debut in a movie called Ying Shi Nan Nu which is a comedy film not the other film I know you probably heard of this movie before, but this is another one. He went on to do a reality show called Chufa Ba Woman Season 2. And then he went on to do other roles as Jing Xia Wu Di in 2019 Quan Zhi Gao Shou. That is all I can find about him. So the next person is Jiu Jie Chong, who we all probably know. Uh, she was born on December 16th, 1998. And in 2009, she was scouted by Pletus Entertainment in Shanghai. And then in 2016, she participated in Produce 101. At the end of the competition, she ranked 6th place and she became the the finalist and she debuted with IOI. The song that they debuted with was Dream Girls. In 2007, after IOI's disbandment, she debuted with Pristin. In 2018, she was the dance mentor for Idol Producer. In May, she debuted in a subgroup called Pristin V. And then she made her first acting debut in Miss Truth. The next actor is Shun Jian. He was born on May 23rd, 1983. He made his debut in 2004 with Mo Jun Nur Guo. In 2010, he was in Huaying Ai Guangning. And in 2012, he was also in Gong Tu. In 2013, he participated in Bai Bian Da Ke Show. And that's when he got noticed by a lot of people. In 2014, for Ge Show, he was the manager for Zhou Bi Chang. And for two, in 2017, he was the manager for Zhang Bi Cheng in Singer as well. For Yi Boy, Li Ying, I feel like I don't really need to say much about them because I feel like a lot of people's eyes highlighted what they've done and everything. If I am missing information about them, I apologize for that um, because I have to like fit all the cast into one video this time. I apologize for that. And um, this cast, the friend group cast actually, um, a lot of them are really new to me, so I didn't know about that. And even like Li Ying, looking up like information about her, I was like, oh, I didn't know that. Um, so yeah, it was really interesting to go and like find out like what they did and how they got into the entertainment business. Obviously, I couldn't go through like the process, like to look at the process of how they got into it, like you know, dig deep into it. Um, but I sort of gave y'all the gist. Hopefully that helped y'all. When I watched the behind the scenes video, they're so adorable. And yeah. Anyways, this is my first video of 2021. 
and I hope you all enjoy this video. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do like cast videos anymore because there's like a lot of people and I have to like memorize so much information but I might, I don't know, it, it depends. Even if I do, I don't think I'll fit it, like try to fit like half of it in one day and another half in another day. Um, so yeah, and I took a break for a bit, like a couple days because I was like, oh, pushing out so much content. Um, but it seems like y'all like these type of like like artist dedicated videos um, which I'm happy about I love doing that and I also love to like talk about dramas and like everything I watch and like all the feelings and everything um, so yeah anyways thank you so much for watching and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you like to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel and yeah um, as for this drama I will do a Sort of like, after the drama finished airing, obviously, I will do like my thoughts and feelings about this drama. So that's all I want to say.